I'm wondering how long you're going to stand there in the leaves. Well, I didn't really think about the fact that wet leaves were going to fly at me. <laughs> That's all I have are wet leaves. Yeah, I should have thought that through a little more. What are you doing? I'm cleaning up. we got company coming tonight. This is fall cleaning time. Company? Yeah. <laughs> what company? Well, this is our first night in the camper, and we're going to go live tonight for the YouTube community. Not Facebook yet. We're learning that part. But we're going live tonight. We appreciate you coming over from Facebook or our good old YouTube family. You guys are the best. But I got to get this place looking tidy. Well, we got rained on last night, a little bit this morning. Now it's time to get all these leaves off so that we can have all the fresh ones come in in the next five minutes. Yeah, it do. doesn't take long and this whole area is full of leaves. Well, let me get this cleaned up and then I want to show them how well the shoe shack worked last night. Oh yeah, think since it, it did rain. Think it did any good? I hope so. We'll find out. I hope your boots aren't all wet. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and blow all these off so the rest of them can blow back on and then we'll just do this all throughout the day until we go live and just get rained on by leaves. Well, for a lot of you that commented and have been asking questions and all the other stuff, Shannon did get 95% of the way done with the shoe shack. We uh, had a little bit of work to do to finish out the roof and the rafters and the supports. It was a lot harder than I expected, guys. I think the big lesson on this one, and Shannon, you correct me if I'm wrong, but we kind of talked about this. You know, everything you do from the ground up is exemplified when you're at the up. So we, we made some uh, fun little modifications and things to make it work and Shannon did an awesome job. The final piece to get it done done is we've got some sheet metal screws. These are not on here yet. We uh, got some really good rain yesterday and we have some matte black spray paint. We gotta, we gotta make it look good and finish it out, right? Absolutely, it has to be pretty. Yeah, so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off, set them over in the sun, let them dry out. We may or may not be able to spray them today, depending on what the wind and weather does. But either way, we'll get this done real soon. But it did its job. All of these boots and shoes were in here last night. It was a windy day yesterday. I can't say the rain was coming in from this direction. However, we only got wet about this far in. So we'll kind of continue to keep an eye on it and make sure. But uh, you guys have given some great, great feedback on ways to keep some critters out of them. What we may do eventually is, is either get this further up off the ground or Shannon will build us a deck outside Ooh. the camper. That's you. I've thought about that. I have some ideas for that. <laughs> you know me, I have ideas for everything. Yeah, but as you guys know, like we have a bunch of different boots for different things. And so we'll keep these in rotation depending on the time of year and whatnot. And I mean, I love this thing. I'm very, very proud, very impressed. It was fun to sit inside last night while we were cleaning and hear the rain running off it knowing that our boots were dry. Yeah. Job, Mostly baby. it's just to keep our muddy boots outside. Yeah. So we did put a little piece of scrap plywood we had down in the well house on top of it, which was great. And then we will put these guys over the top. Hey, tell me if you guys worked with this before, what's the safest way to make these edges less dangerous? They're dangerous. They're very sharp. Cutting these with the snips, it was really hard not to leave little points on there like that one. And I'd I don't really want Nala or Hercules or Shannon or myself or anybody for that matter to catch themselves on it. So I do have a wheel grinder. We've got multiple tools. What's the best way to soften those edges? Or do we just get some of that double-sided foam like we put all throughout the camper for your... <laughs> the safety foam? <laughs> accident prone tall husband. I don't know. We'll look into solutions for that, but we're going to get these spray painted so that we have this nice uniform black look on the top of it. And then it will be done. Yep. Good job, babe. Thank you. First little project that wasn't about getting out here. This That's was just true. One of the benefits and things we needed so we didn't have it was, stacks of boots inside. It was just a fun project. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, I'll set these out, get them dry. That's our shoe shack. Hey, exciting news, okay? So we are now officially going to be here living at the camper. And I think one of my favorite parts of it, not only because we get to be on the land, but Princess Nala and Prince Hercules get to come home with us. Yes, I'm super excited to bring them home, let them get comfortable and acclimated and yeah. have them here. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, we went live the day we're recording this. We're going live tonight. We haven't done it yet, so it could be terrible. I could be making a terrible reference, but go check out that live. <laughs> that was That's our very first night. We just kind of wanted that in the history books. But now, you know, we're kind of back to the drawing board. I mean, there's still some things we got to do. We got to address the well house and all that fun stuff. But Shannon and I have really uh, reassessed like, hey, now we get to do the things that we bought these 20 acres for. We get to do the projects that 
get us out here, the trails, get the animals out here, everybody happy and fun. All and the fun things. The whole reason we bought the property in the first place. Yeah. I mean, already with the camper all functioning and everything, we've just done some of the things we've been putting off, like four-wheeler rides and just hanging out, watching movies or listening to music outside if the weather permits and just soaking up nature, man. It's, it's awesome. It's been wonderful. So before the end of this video, we're going to have Nala and Herc out here. The pen's all enclosed. We'll bring Hercules' house out and we've got some things for him to stay on to kind of stay out of the dirt and mud. It's not too terrible, but it's a little muddy. Herc likes the mud. He However, loves it. Nala sleeps in there with us. Hercules, he's going to sleep in his pen. We can't get Mario and Luigi out here just yet. We don't have a shelter for him and I think there's a little more rain in the forecast. I don't want to be putting them at risk of getting wet because I don't know if you ever sprayed a goat or seen them get rained on, but they don't like it. It's funny, but they don't like it. That's how we, we don't keep... want to start them out that way, not liking it here. Well, that's how I keep Mario out of Luigi's food because Mario doesn't share well and he's a lot stronger than Luigi. That's true. I need to recruit a little bit of help. I've got to get the Goatville electrified so that we can let them out during the day. They can stretch out and have as much room as they're used to over there at Grandpa Adler's. I want them to have that here. I don't want them to come here and immediately just be confined to this pen and not be able to stretch out and play and run around. Especially Ouija, that little guy. He just likes to run and jump and shake his head. He's fun. But we're going to work on that. I roped in Grandpa Adler Farms. Dad. My dad. He's retired now. And I said, ooh, that means his schedule book has opened up. So I said, hey, uh, Shannon and I are going to move out to the camper. We're going to get out of your house. We'll give you your spare bedroom back. We'll quit making messes. Quit eating your food. Uh, no, it's, it's been awesome. I cannot tell you how grateful Shannon and I have been that my parents made their home available to us and allowed us to really just buckle down and focus on getting out here, but not have to rough it too hard or pay more money to stay at KOA or all that stuff. So thanks mom and dad, grandpa and grandma of Adler Farms. I, I don't have enough words for that. So thank you guys. However, now dad, it's, it's chore time. So he's going to help assess how we get the electrical fence up to keep the goats in. And hopefully we can use some of his muscles to drive those stakes in the ground. He seems to be pretty good at it. <laughs> He's got a little practice. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he did tell me, he said, now, son, I've never put up an electrical fence, but I've taken down 10 of them. I thought, oh, cool. I'll just work in the reverse order and we'll figure it out, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I... he's a master at putting T posts in all the time, so. Yeah. Door into that car. Don't I'll try do it. Not to. Don't do it. Hey, we got to talking on the way over here. I know you guys know we're getting ready for company, and so we're on a bit of a time crunch, kind of, sort of. I don't know. Not, not too bad. But we're going live here in just a couple hours, and we don't want to cut ourselves too short on time. So, originally, we were going to get the dogs separately because I don't know if you guys have seen Hercules but the man is growing and Nala well she's you know 85 pound dog or so and he's a puppy she's not she's nine years old sometimes he acts a little too puppy for her and she has to get snippy with him however we've decided we're just gonna take on this challenge with the two of them together at the same time in the same car so we're gonna bring you along with us that'll be a lot of fun we're just about back to mom and dad's and we got to gather some other things while we're there and of course all the stuff for the dogs and uh it should be quite eventful oh i'm sure it's going to be eventful if we put nolly in first i don't even she won't even let hercules in she's gonna be like no princess rides is, alone if he gets in first will she get back there with him well i don't know i have to carry him he goes limp biscuit on me that's true. I mean, dead Un weight. Unfortunately, he had a bad experience at the vet and well, he didn't, didn't like a, to get in the car anymore. It wasn't a bad experience. It was just a vet visit. You know, no dog the first well, time they start sticking probes When they and start sticking things up, things where they shouldn't be. Yeah, he don't like it. He don't like it. So we're going to get a little bit of stuff and then we'll uh, start recording again here once we go to get the animals out. This should be fun. This should be entertaining. Well, where are you going? Do you want to go see what your brother's doing? Herc man! Buddy boy. He gets excited. He is a little excited. He's excited. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy boy. Hi. Hi, mister. Hi, mister. How are you? Hey, guess what? Do you want to go stay at Shady Acres tonight? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All you got to do is use that voice with all the critters out there and you'll be sitting pretty. Well, they're clearly excited. Nala has known she was going for a while because we packed up all of her toys and put her collar on her. Oh, she's going to steal Hercules' rope. <laughs> she says, come on, Herc. We got to go to the car and get out to the land. He's like, you're not taking my rope. Yeah. Hey, are you guys ready to go for a car ride and go out to Shady Acres? Huh? You ready to go home? You want to go home? 
Yeah. No, you've been there, Herc. You know where it is. Let's go get Mommy's car. We'll go home. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna grab his toys real quick, babe. Okay. Herc, you gotta take your rope with you. Got your hands a little full there? Yeah, I got it. Don't worry about it, Dad. Sorry about the broom. Boop. Watch out, Herc. Watch out, fur balls. Is it gonna fit? Wasn't resting at all. Yeah, I think it's gonna fit just fine. I kind of wish it was faced the other way so we could go around that chair, but that's Adler's captain chair. Can't move that. We ain't moving that guy. And I think I remember how many people it took to get that chair uh, put together yeah. and installed. So I'm not about to ask her, I'm to move it. No way. Well, this is very, very sweet of her. We uh, weren't gonna have enough room, obviously, to get half of the stuff. But this will save. That's gonna save us another trip, which is awesome. Save another trip. Look how perfect it fits in there. All right, Grandma. You were 100% right. Yep, you gotta say the words. Mom might have voted this way. She said, oh, there's plenty of room. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Do you see what sister did? Do you see what sister did? Were we ready for that? Yeah, I think so. It's just a matter if he's gonna share the space or not. Uh, that's a negative. <laughs> Come yeah. on. I'm gonna have to pick Mr. Herc up, aren't I? <laughs> this is what Herc does when it's time to go for a ride. You're kind of ridiculous, Herc. He says, um, pick me up. Yep, that's exactly Royalty. what he's saying. Spoiled, not doing it. Your sister's already in the car. She's Don't waiting. Don't care. Hers makes bad decisions, Mom. What do you think? She's like, come on, guys. Yeah, you want to go for a ride? Let's tell brother. <laughs> All right, Herc. He says, come visit me anytime. Good to see you. You bet I will. Good boy. He's super excited. Bark at some animals tonight. Keep mom and dad up all night long. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Did you get your grandpa spoilings? Yeah, dad's picking you up. Uh huh. Mr. You know how this goes, don't you? You ready to go for a ride, mister? He almost jumped in like a minute this? ago. <laughs> two, hands, two paws and then two paws in the back. I guess that's okay. There we go. Limp biscuit. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Love you. I love you. Good. Mm. Oh, I'm big enough. Big enough. Come on, Bubba. Guess what, man? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there we go. Oh, my little baby puppy. Bye. Love you. <laughs> love you. Goodness. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm on some weight there. Huh? <laughs> hey, get your tractor out. Oh, wait. And in we go. Hey, hey. There's a no, no, it says this ain't, I don't know. She's like, I don't share my seat. At least they're small little puppies. Okay, well, that was exciting. Oh, well, thank you for my kisses. Well, how many puppy legs do we have in here? Let's see. There's Bye. four. There's four more. Children, are we going to get along here? Oh, <laughs> this like, should Wait be interesting. A minute. Wait a minute. This ain't Nala's first rodeo. She knows how to. Okay, yeah. kids. She doesn't gonna... know how to share her seat, though. We're going to drive very carefully because you don't have seat belts on. Right? Yes. <laughs> of course. That was a message for Shannon more so than the dogs. Okay. We'll be safe. We'll be safe. So, Grandma's coming behind us. She's got Herc's bed, Herc's house, or maybe the bed's in here. Did you bring the bed? Or is it up on the porch? It's on the porch. We may be going to storage we'll to get probably. our other bed that we had for Nala. Or I'll just be making an emergency run later, because... Who knows what we forgot, Who realistically. Knows? He does fine without his bed, but... He likes to carry it around with him. But he does like his bed. He wants him to feel comfortable. I feel like we're sending kids away to summer camp or something, but they're coming <laughs> with us. Maybe it's because they're coming... Nala just pushed him out of the way with her tushy. Do they have each? These are Nala's car legs. She's, she's a little shaky. She's comfortable. Yeah. You guys are being good. You're being good. You guys both can't look out the same window at the same time, Herc. Yeah. Oh, Nala's going to be covered in slobber by the time we get there. Oh, yeah. 
poor girl. I Sometimes know Herc will lay down, but... I don't know if there's enough room with both of them in here. That's true. Children! <laughs> no, look. Every time Herc starts to get a little bit of headway between the seats, boom, there's a Nala head. You got that fast ear on, Nala Bear? You ready? Come on. Come on, buddy. There you go. Yeah, welcome home. Look at that wheel. That thing, that's a game changer. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, the views. Home. No, that's a good girl. Herc, what do you think? It's the first time you and sister have been out here at the same time. Well, we've got the live coming up right now. So we're gonna call a little time out on this. Do the live. If you haven't seen that, go watch the live. We're gonna have both these dogs out here. It's fun, it'll be fun. How'd you sleep? With my eyes closed and my mouth open. <laughs> I think that's how you're supposed to sleep, right? I sleep with my mouth shut. Oh man, I'm doing it wrong. Guys, it is a beautiful day here at Shady Acres. Guess what? Today is our very first day after our very first night out here. Did you see him? Oh, I should have had you flip the camera around. Speaking of which, look Mr. At Herc the... has a new bed in his house and he loves it. Our four legged friends are here with us, at least half of them. Something getting you know. We still got to do a little bit of work on the goat pen and everything, but Shannon and I are just on cloud nine. This is very surreal. You guys know, hey, buddy. Hi, sugar. Hey, man. Nala's got to go check out his pen. Say, hey, what you been doing in here? Show him, Herc. He's like, hey, why are you Show in my her. bedroom? Uh-oh. Oh, she, he didn't eat his bacon that we gave him before we left for church. <laughs> Buddy, you got to eat treats, man. Nala, Nala will make him disappear. She will if you take don't. him if you don't. How did you sleep, buddy? He says, I don't sleep, man. I work all night. He's like, I was sleeping until you came down here. I just filled this guy's water bowl up. Right. Look, he's like, Nala, get away from my food. Right before we left. Nala, leave it. He goes and knocks it off of the pallets. I, I tell you what, we're gonna have a tough time. I, I'm glad he's, he's, this is his space. He's making this his, he's gonna say, hey, this is my pen and these are my pallets. And when the goats get in here, I'm hoping he stands his ground a little bit because Ouija loves climbing up high and getting away from the other goats. We'll see if uh, old Herkman shares his space, but as of right now- I'm sure he will. As of right now, you don't have to, do you, bud? He says, it was pretty cute. He was, we looked out here this morning and he was on the top pallet platform, just looking around, checking things out, being a guard dog. He's awesome. You tried to keep the neighbors up, didn't you? He what? says, I was just scaring away all the critters. Away the critters. Yeah, does my boy. Yeah, um, I know it's not normal, but we spoiled this guy and we kept him out all night with us last night. Did a great job sticking around, didn't go too far. We might have known that Nala had an old bed in storage and we might have had to leave the bed that Grandma gave him behind because he outgrew it a bit. So if you take a little peek back there in his house, the prince has been promoted. If it it's. Now, obviously, we were a little bit concerned that the man was going to tear it up, but he seems to be pretty <clears throat> smart about knowing, hey, this is for my comfort. And the moment we put it in there, we walked back up to the camper. I can't remember. We might have went and got food or something last night. Came oh, back yeah. and he's sleeping in here with his bed and it hadn't moved. It was pretty adorable. He loves it. Nala has to check it out. She's like, wait, that used to be my bed. I don't, I don't think I can describe it. <laughs> You open it up, he, he out. I don't think I can describe the feeling in words. Uh, we had a great sermon this morning, Shannon and I, a wonderful morning. It was wonderful to wake up in the camper, watch the sunrise from inside. We'll get you one of those shots one of these days, but we were a little selfish this morning. But man, just the feeling, I, I, I don't, can you put it into words? It's really surreal. So before we went to church this morning, we got the dogs out and just kind of walked around the property a little bit to just 
let them stretch their legs and just kind of see what it was like out here in the morning. It was just so quiet and peaceful. And it really made me remember like, this is why we're doing this. This is why we set our goals out to get out here and just really enjoy nature and the beauty that is out here. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, it's been a dream for a very long time to be at this very moment, this point in time on our land, plenty of land with our animals and still more to come. And it's finally come to fruition. And I just, you know, you, you think you put yourself in this position, but it's not until you're here, you're like, oh, the dream has come true. At least this phase. I actually looked at Kyle last night and I was like, hey, we made it we have finally gotten to the point that we've been working so hard to get to and we made it, we're here. And now- We get to enjoy it now. We only have 25,374 other projects to do before the end of the year. <laughs> no big deal. Hey, look, Mr. Mann's already getting his perimeter here. This is what he does all oh, night. Yeah. He did this at grandpa's, but I, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can absolutely see his perimeter right there. This He's is his favorite corner. Path. He has gas, I can smell it. We're downwind of him, whew. <laughs> but yeah, that's his little corner where he sits and looks up at us with sad eyes and says, hey, come get me out. But he gives in and goes and lays down, he's good. We looked out the window and kind of watched him circling the perimeter this morning, just doing perimeter checks and saying, okay, everything's good. It was pretty adorable. Yeah, well, we heard him out here talking, scaring off some things, doing his job. I don't want to go very long without having the goats out here because the guy needs friends and uh you know what that means he's gonna clear this ground for the goat shelter right over here hey today may not be a terrible Priority. day for it the ground's still a little bit soft but it's not wet you hear that he's gonna work for me today it's also really really nice out it's beautiful out here <laughs> it's like i don't even know what it is 65 to 75 degrees maybe i don't think it's in the 70s but i think it's in the 60s and it is beautiful if you're saying it's beautiful it's got to be in the 70s here <laughs> oh we gonna find out what is it what is it oh no i left my phone behind oh no you guys you gotta live look in at your watch and see what it well, says have, yeah no it's top secret you don't it doesn't work like that you gotta open the app and sync it okay well i still think it's in the 60s i don't use one of those apple watches that does it all for me I it use... only works if you don't leave your phone behind Oh, no, that's true. Yeah, yours is pretty worthless right now, too. Yeah, it? it's completely worthless. Yeah, you know, we've been doing so much work, so much work, getting the water, electric, everything ready for the camper to get it out here. I don't want to do any more. I'm done. I want to keep going. I have things I want to build, and I'm thinking about all the pallets I need to I take out. I was being out. sarcastic. Oh. I was joking. Well, I wasn't joking. I'm serious. I want to keep going. Well, yeah, but I, I was just saying, at the same time, man, sometimes you got to stop drink a coffee, enjoy it. And go on a little walk. Yeah, a walk about. My arm's tired, that's heavy. Kyle's weak. That's a half pound. Can't even hold the that's GoPro That's a half pound up. GoPro. It's super heavy. So today, we've got Grandma's family birthday celebration, Grandma Adler Farms. So before that, we thought, well, we'll come back here and uh, do a little walk about with the pups. We have one, but we're missing. Hey. There she is. Come on, sister. Her, get your sister. Nala is going to be in tip top shape in no time flat. We got to watch her a little bit. She's nine years old, so. Look at him just walking next to her. Bring her on, bring your sister. Come on. There's a good girl. Yeah, good girl. Yes, ma'am. You made it up the hill with a little Herc slobber on you. By the way, all of you that joined us in our live yesterday. Oh man. Thank you so much. We had so much fun with that. Just kind of sitting around, hanging out, enjoying our first night here. There so are going to be you. many more of those. That was Whoo, Herc. Whoo -wee. a lot of fun. Yeah. Don't, don't walk behind that guy. Wind of him. That was a good time. You guys yeah. came out, showed up, congratulated. Uh, and we're very appreciative. Very, Thank very you. appreciative. Yeah. So now all I got to do is build out my football watching station outside, get a, a projector or something, and then we can do lives all the time as long as there's football games going too. Got to have that football. Is that the stipulation? What are you going to do in the summer? Record football games and watch them. Okay. <laughs> no, car auctions. Mika Motto, Barrett Jackson. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Got to watch and see what farm trucks are doing out there, you know? We farm need a farm trucks. truck now. 
You don't buy a farm truck at the Mecham auction. Yeah, you do. One with air conditioning and a nice sound system, automatic transmission, everything's been updated. You have one of those. Oh. Yeah, but it doesn't... Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Either way, we're going to find... <laughs> as much outdoor time as we can possibly get, that's what we're going for. I'm down. Oh, it's just gorgeous. You know, before we had, you know, when we were in our house, when we were at mom and dad's, when we were at the KOA, every single day, every day we woke up, you had to think through, what is that? Oh, it's just a bee. Look how brave I am. Until it starts buzzing your head. It's going to sting me and then it's going to change the entire story. <laughs> no, but until uh, until we got out here, it, it was nice to have the land and to be able to come here and, and whatever. But now we can actually take our shoes off out here, walk around barefoot in there, control the temperature, use the restroom, put stuff in the fridge. Wash so our hands. We can eat when we're hungry. <laughs> But we don't Game have changer. to. We don't have to do the planning and, and gathering of all the tools That's and the true. stuff. And yes, we have things we need to do, like build shelters for all the tools and whatnot. But we have it all, in one place. It's all enjoyable, and once it's done, it's done. So I'm excited. So you heard it. Kyle's going to help me start building structures. Why do you keep you keep saying it like you're the contractor that's doing all the projects and I'm building just all the things? Because I have all these. You ideas. heard it here. I'm finally going to get Shannon to help me build <laughs> some of these things <laughs> golly i'm gonna flip the script that. around on you <laughs> flipping that script boy i've been waiting a long time for you to commit to helping me out with this stuff i'm, I'm glad you finally come around i have finally committed come to your honey. senses thank you it's about time huh i'm doing it i'm committing are you crying from laughing at you <laughs> <laughs> i love it Man, these dogs, look how good they are. I want to, as much as possible, we may have to get another livestock guardian dog. I don't know. I may break this one. <clears throat> I just love him too much. I need him to be out. He does a great job at guarding at night, but I don't. I just don't know what's going to come of it. And the cool thing is, like I said, last night, pitch black out here. Now the moon, we had a pretty good moon. It was a full moon. And so, But you couldn't see him beyond about 30 feet. And he disappeared, and I wouldn't say anything, kind of let him go for a little bit, and he came back every time. And then when he saw three deer, he ran them off and he was so proud and he, his little front feet were bouncing, had his mohawk up, and then he'd come back and tell me, hey, hey, I did my job. He so, was pretty cute about it. So far, he's, he's going to be a good LGD, but uh, he definitely wants to be out with us quite a bit and I don't, oh, yeah. I don't know that that's a good attribute. So yeah, it's pretty awesome just watching him kind of walk around, assess the situation, make sure everything's safe, and he comes back and sees us. He's really, really good. We are so proud of him. And Nala's kind of teaching them the ropes too of the different commands that we use and all that. But we're proud of both of them. They're doing awesome. Yeah. And I have teased you guys multiple times, but Shannon has never let me follow through. Let me know in the comments down below so that Shannon can see them. Do you guys want to go on a walk on our trail? We have a couple of trails actually, and I would love to take the dogs out. I just got my battery powered chainsaw out of the shop, had some tension issues, everything's golden. Uh, so that's my lighter weight one, and we need to do some cleaning on those trails. So let me know. Let Shannon know so that she can't argue with me anymore. <laughs> we can win this together. Let's go on a walk on those trails with the dogs. I was going to say, and I promise we'll take the dogs. And the chainsaw. Okay. Yes. And the four-wheeler? Yes, and with the trailer. Oh, my. We're going to make a whole this event out of it. This is just turning into a whole event, guys. I, I want to show you the trails. It is a peaceful place. When we come out here, we hop on the four-wheeler. You just rip the trails. I, you know, what much better could you do than that? Perk. We're gonna rip the trails. We're gonna have fun with that. And we're getting to fire weather. Yes. You know, we've had some rain. I think we have a little bit more here in a couple days. If we can kind of get things to dampen down a little bit, the wind stays died down, it's time to burn some real fires. I'm I love excited. my propane fire pit, but that was for the campground. That was for our back patio in the city. We got that and I'm gonna burn it. These two are ready to go for a walk. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we got to go somewhere this afternoon, so let's we'll just... We'll come back later and take you on a walk. Let's hang out kind of close. You take a nap. When we get back, we'll burn all that energy, especially this one. Yeah, you He's got like, all... hey, pet me. Don't pet her. You got all that puppy energy, don't you, buddy boy? Yeah. You are so handsome. You're so handsome. What do you think? Do you like being out here? I know we miss grandpa and grandma and their animals, don't we? But we'll get you your own. You'll get you'll get work to do. Look at there, you got Nala to work on. She says, I don't need help. She's like, could you get out of my face, don't please? Don't need help. 
That's my boy. It's it's just too it's too awesome. Yeah. This is literally a dream come true that you know you see coming to fruition for years, but it's it's not till you get out here that you actually know what that feeling is going to be like. And this, I don't know, it kind of ties into the, the sermon and some of the conversations we had after it today. But it was yeah. all just it was it, it feels so right and meant to be and makes all the effort, all the laughter at my expense, trying to get here, doing things I've never done before. You know, we, we got to thinking about it last night and talking about dropping the shower head down in the shower in there. Well, I've already replaced it twice, changed where it mounts, whatever, and it was this big deal. I was laughing last night because Shannon's like, hey, don't forget, we need to move that down again because it's, it's too high. And I was like, you know, now I look at something that small and I'm like, ain't no biggie. We ran water lines, power lines, fixed a well, uh, brought in the base rock, knocked down these houses, barn, all that stuff. I can, I can move a shower head down. It's just crazy how perspective has changed in less than 12 months. And oh, yeah. Now we're living out here full time. My happy man. My happy lady. That's the most important. Those two are just so funny. Okay, well, let's get to Grandma and Grandpa's. Okay, and then we'll get back and work later. And No, let's, Finish let's, this video let's have out. fun. Have, let's, just, let's just take it easy day. Cowboys, it is Sunday. You know what? The Cowboys are on a bye week, so they don't have to you stress can't... today. They don't have to work. Neither do I. That's, that's what we're going with. Okay. Well, well today turned out to be a minor work day. Just Shannon editing, and <laughs> I had a bunch of stuff in the bed of my truck. I'm not even going to go show you all of it. It doesn't matter, but you guys know I've been carrying stuff nonstop, so the truck is at full payload, and uh, I get terrible fuel mileage. So now I just got to clear out the back seat as well, and the whole truck will be nice and empty and get better fuel mileage, which is really important right now. It is. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey guys, we uh, had a great time with the family. This is a wonderful first day out here. It's still surreal, but we are so excited and we are so excited that you are and we look forward to all the things to come that we finally get to do now that we're out here full time. Yeah, it's been a great weekend. We like couldn't sunrises. have asked for better. No, weather's good. I will probably try to get up for at least one sunrise. Hold your breath, everybody. We'll see. I said try. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, we appreciate and love you so much. Coming along on this ride with us, it has been awesome, and it's only going to get better from here. I'm going to get some goats out here, and then I'm going to get the other 16 goats. Thank you guys so much for coming by, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Goodness. Okay, let's do an actual mic check real quick, just so I can make sure it's good. Please. Mic, 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 mic. Her, 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 her,